Hey everyone, getting back into the swing of things this week with another cosplay video. Uh, this week I'm working on the bracers for the cosplay, and so you can see first of all here I'm just taking some white construction paper and tracing my forearm, just so I can understand how, about how large the bracers need to be. I'm taking my reference photo and using this block here just to make sure I'm making some straight lines, giving myself some room and that general trapezoid shape that I'll need in order to make the outline of the bracers. Once I've cut out my pattern and construction paper, I'm just going to size it up on myself to make sure I'm headed in the right direction. Once that looks good, I'm going to take my craft foam, go ahead and just trace it with a black sharpie, both sides, and then go through and cut that out with just a regular pair of scissors. Once that's all cut out, I'm going to take my heat gun and warm up the foam so that I can get a nice sharp crease because uh, these bracers are very angular and there are some lines and creases that need to be made on the edges. So once I fold it over, I'm going to just use this can of Plasti Dip that I had on the side here in order to get myself a nice harsh edge. And you can see it kind of keeps a nice um, pyramid shape there and we don't have to worry about it collapsing in on itself. Um, repeat that process with the other side of the bracer as well too and um, set those aside to cool. This part I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do the layers of the pieces that you'll see on the, on the bracers, um, but once I've got those pretty much measured out for the underneath shape, I'm just going to take some hot glue and run it down the side of one of those pieces of craft foam. I'll take the other side and line them up and just make sure that they're seated nicely. This first layer of glue is really just going to kind of keep them attached together and then I'm going to go in as you can see here on the inside with a further thicker strip of hot glue just to make sure that they stay together. Okay, again, just checking sizing, making sure that this is going to fit on my arm correctly, and everything also looks good there. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and start adding the layers. So there are actually one, two, looks like uh, there's three layers that you'll see on the bracers, and um, that they just kind of go up from there, but they're all basically the same size. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that um, trapezoid shape again, that's the same that I used for the underneath layer, and just trace myself four more of the same size onto the craft foam. Uh, following the same steps with heating it up with the heat gun, folding over and creasing, and then you'll see we will hot glue them right onto the bracers. It's always good to make sure that your heat gun is uh, nice and warmed up. When I first started using it, it hadn't really gotten warm enough yet, and so the, uh, the first few creases didn't really hold their shape, so I had to go back in and just go ahead and recrease them. But once they've got their shape, they really pretty much keep that. You don't have to worry about it. Um, just watch in excessive heat or direct sunlight, they may start to relax a little bit if it gets overheated. Okay, so I'm taking my glue and I'm just going to fold in and glue that second layer that you'll see. And um, really simple, these are probably way easier than I expected them to be. Um, you know. It's, it's really just craft foam, Plasti Dip, hot glue, and my spray paint for the most part. Um, continuing again with another two of those trapezoid shapes to go on to the next layer up. This is why it's really great to make a pattern too. Um, even if you just use printer paper or construction paper, if you make yourself a pattern, then you don't have to worry about wasting or you know ruining your foam. Um, not that the craft foam is extremely expensive, but compared to construction paper or just printer paper, um, it's definitely gonna be worth your while to make sure that you're dotting all your T's and crossing all your I's, as it were. Okay, just going in and gluing that last layer onto the inside of the bracers there. And that's, um, you can see that uh, the hot glue kind of allows the one 
edge that I've attached there to be sort of like a hinge. Um, with these, I didn't want to have to worry about squeezing my glove through the smaller wrist opening um, because you have to make sure that if you're going to do that, you need to make the wrist opening large enough to fit your hand through, which I didn't want because I didn't want it to fall down on my arm. I really just wanted something that would kind of sit on my arm, get stuck over the top of the glove. So with these, um, I made one side like a hinge and then the other side I was going to attach some self-stick Velcro just to make sure that they stay closed and I'm on my forearm correctly. Just checking my reference photo again. And you'll see when you do these things, pull multiple reference photos for yourself. Honestly, I've got like at least eight, eight or ten of these reference photos of this costume um, and every single one the details are different. So, you know, it's open to interpretation. I kind of found what I thought would work best for my skill set and what I thought would work best for a real life scenario and went from there. Um, you know, you'll see here, I made this pattern for the wings that go on the top of the bracers from one, um, one reference photo and I found once I actually went, actually went to go put that piece in, you'll see it didn't actually make sense. So what I did was cut it in half again, um, down those smaller little feathers that are on the inside and flipped them and reversed them. So when I traced this, what I actually should have done is made those larger feathers on the inside, but it's fine. All I needed to do was just cut that down the middle and I'll glue it onto the inside. So, um, you know, when I, when I glue it in that, when I try to glue it in that way, the way the feathers lay just don't make sense with the way I'm actually seeing the picture on the screen. You can see here, I'm like, no, that doesn't make sense. Um, so I take them out, cut that in half, and then just go ahead in with some hot glue and attach it. And then it makes much more sense. All right, so that's really the bulk of the work for these. Um, the first one was done, I would say this took me maybe, uh, I don't know, an hour, two hours tops. Um, from start to finish for one of them. Um, you know, it's really very simple. So what I did next was brought them outside, coated them in Plasti Dip, two coats of the black Plasti Dip, and then um, just one coat of the spray paint. I didn't paint the entire inside, just kind of the tops and the bottom where it would be visible. Um, but what I'm doing next is taking that self-stick uh, Velcro and just attaching it um, on each side of the inside so that way it's really easy to get on and off and I don't have to worry, like I said, about making that wrist hole too large and having it not be able to stay on my arm throughout the day. The Velcro worked really well and that's basically the completed bracers. Um, these were pretty simple to bang out. Um, I had started trying to make the shoulder pieces, got really frustrated because I'm going to be using some thicker foam for those. And so I decided just to, this wasn't the day for it, I was going to move on and work on these bracers. So you can see here I put the glove on that I made in an earlier video and went ahead and attached the Velcro to the bracers just to kind of see what the final look is. I was really pleased with how these came out. Um, I may or may not do a little bit more distressing, I'm not sure. I didn't really do any on this, but I don't know if it's necessary um, because of the paint that I use. It has a special effect. That's it for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. These do look different. The front and the back piece look different from the middle and the side pieces. So I just stuck that first piece on because I basically knew where that was going to go. And rather than try to figure out where that they were going to